CIO dinner, Vincent Everts. Uh, I'm talking to Robin Hansen from George Mason University, an economist who talks about robots here at the CIO dinner. Robin, what can we expect in the next 100 years of robots? Well, for the next 20 or 50 years, not very much. So for the near term, we, you should expect the same trend and, and things that have happened for the last century or two to go on. Slow. Come on, Robin. I mean, my Tesla is already driving by itself. In about five to ten years, every car will do it. So how can yeah. you say it will not do anything? You're impressed with today's demos, but ten years ago, people were impressed with those demos, and 20 years ago with those demos, and 30 years with those demos. No, it, no, no, my Tesla drives itself. It's something new, but they've always had new things. When I was a grad student in 1984, I read about all the cool things happening in AI. I went off to be an AI researcher because I thought AI was about to take over the world, because surely, with these grand new demos that had never happened before, we were just on the verge. But we were not on the verge. Neither were we 20 years before that or 50 years before that. So for centuries so now we will it thing. ever happen then ever, you think yes. you think ai ai will not come anytime soon not in the next 20 soon. years not in the next 20 years but in the next few centuries yes and on the grand time scale that's short so we still ought to get ready and think about what's going to happen within a few centuries because it's going to be really big okay you're an economist in 100 years from now where do we stand so more likely than not, a certain kind of robot shows up that's able to do pretty much all the jobs humans can do cheaper than humans in that time scale. So I call that a brain emulation. It's a certain kind of way to make a robot that's the smartest people. Yeah. And when that happens, it may not happen exactly in a century, but when it happens, suddenly everything changes enormously. Humans basically lose all their jobs and have to retire. We start out owning everything, so we get rich fast. So another thing to say is this robot economy grows very quickly. It can Productivity will go up. Very fast. At the moment, our economy doubles roughly every 15 years. This economy could double every month or every week or faster. So a very rapid growth. And if your investments double that fast. If you've got a pile of money in the bank, it doubles every month or week. So even if you start out with a modest uh, retirement fund, it very quickly becomes a very large retirement fund. Enough to live from. So the yes. humans, they will live okay. On average, humans will live okay, but it comes down to how well we share. As you might have noticed, some of us have assets and some of us don't. So this will be a matter of retiring and needing assets when you retire. As you probably know, if you retire without any assets besides your ability to work, you're in trouble. Yeah. So when humanity as a whole retires, that also happens. If you do so right, and uh, the rich and the poor, they, the differences will only become much bigger. But we already see that at retirement. That's the retirement today. If you retire without any assets, without any government or friends who are willing to help you, you are in trouble today. Humanity as a whole will face that problem. We will all need to retire when robots can do our jobs. And it can be a very comfortable retirement. And you don't need that much to be very rich and comfortable, but you will need something. Okay. So we will own everything and some of them will be filthy rich and some of them will be poor. Exactly. You've written a book about it, right? When is, uh, what's the name and when does it come My out? The book is called The Age of M, Work, Love and Life, When Robots Rule the Earth. Coming to the, this earth on? on? In May from Oxford. Hmm. When was it written? I finished writing it uh, August 1st. So what, does, what kind of robot is sitting behind your publisher to, which takes eight months? Well, publishers are slow. I mean, honestly, in their defense, most books don't make very much money, so they're set up a process which is cheap in order to handle the, the books that are expected to make the least amount of money so that they can mainly make a profit okay. on them. Hey, they, show they, them that I'm a better book than average. Ah, of course, of course. Well, and, and they have 100 year. that's true. Hey, the CIOs, you gave this presentation today. Do you, have any, um, do you have any advice for them, what they can do to prepare for this 100 year or how to use robots now? On their usual time scales, they can ignore it, right? They've been hearing about these things. They've been wondering, should I worry about automation suddenly taking over jobs soon? Are and they saying? can set it aside and not worry. Okay, everybody, you can go back to life, you can back to and sleep uh, safely. The robots won't come and take over your life. Now. And there's a book and there's research to prove it.